Hi, welcome to this tutorial on completing the square. Now here's a typical question you can expect to get on completing the square. It's express x squared plus 6x minus 1 in the form x plus p all squared plus q stating the values of p and q. Now when we're given a quadratic expression in this case x squared plus 6x minus 1 and we're asked to write it in this format it is called completing the square. So let me take you through this show you how it's done. So we start off then by writing the quadratic expression in this case x squared plus 6x minus 1 and because we have to write it in this style I start off by writing an open bracket. So I'm going to say that this is identical to, okay, not really equals. This is an expression which is going to be identical to, it's not an equation. So do try and use this symbol here. So we write a open bracket like so and we have a squared on the outside. Now at the front here we write x, so it's starting to look like this. And what we do is we always look at the term in x, in this case plus 6x. Then we look at the number in front of the x term, often called the coefficient of x, in this case plus 6. What we do is we always halve this number. So if we halve plus 6, it's obviously plus 3. And what we do is we write it in here. Okay. So just to recap again, we take the coefficient of x, plus 6, and we always halve this number and write it in here. Why do we do this? Well, let's just have a look and see what this gives us. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll do this in the margin over here. So we'll just draw a little margin, like so. And what I'm going to work out now is what x plus 3 all squared is. So x plus 3 all squared is the same as multiplying x plus 3 with another x plus 3. Okay? Now you might know what this answer is. You might know how to do it in your head. I'm just going to, though, uh, expand it out. So this is identical to... In the usual way, x times x is x squared, x times 3 plus 3x, and then this 3 times this x plus 3x, and then plus 3 times plus 3 is plus 9. And if we simplify this further, it's identical to, well, we've got x squared, but we've got a couple of 3x terms here. So we've got a total of 6x, so that's plus 6x, then the plus 9. Okay? Now when I look across here, I'm saying at the moment that x squared plus 6x minus 1 is identical to x plus 3 all squared. But clearly it's not, because if we square x plus 3, we get x squared plus 6x plus 9, not, as we want, x squared plus 6x minus 1. So it's looking pretty good. I mean, we're getting the first two terms, x squared plus 6x, but we've got 9. Instead, we needed negative 1. So we don't need this 9 that's here. OK, so how are we going to get rid of that? Well, what I'll do is simply subtract 9. Okay, so I'm going to write minus 9 here. So at the moment, this expression is going to come to just simply x squared plus 6x. But I still don't want just x squared plus 6x. I need a minus 1 on the end. So what I'm going to do is put that minus 1 on the end here. 
So remember now, what we've got here is that this part, when expanded, became x squared plus 6x plus 9. I now subtract 9, so I'm down to x squared plus 6x. And then I want this minus 1 here, so I've written it at the end. So this is basically it finished. The only point is I just need to tidy it up. So go down underneath here, write identical to again, and we just have x plus 3 all squared, and minus 9 minus another one is minus 10. So what we've got is that we have expressed this quadratic expression in the form that was required. Remember, it was this format and that's what we've essentially got. So we can say that this is identical then to x plus p all squared plus q. Now because we were asked to state the values of p and q, I can say that it is where p equals we can compare this with what we've got here and you can see that this is plus p and this is plus 3 so p must have been 3 and we've also got to give the value of q q equals could be careful here because we've got plus q and here we've got negative 10 so we're effectively adding negative 10 so q is negative 10 OK, so I hope you've got the idea behind writing the quadratic expression x squared plus 6x minus 1 in the form x plus p all squared plus q, which we call completing the square. OK, I'd like to do another example with you, very similar to this, only instead of ha having, say, a plus here, let's try it with a negative sign, and maybe even change this as well. OK, so that will follow next. So I hope you have now been able to gain something from this example. But what follows in the original are far more examples and exercises with work solutions where I take you through other types such as expressions involving negative x squared terms, 2x squared, 3x squared terms, etc. which are handled slightly differently from this. Also the quality of the image and the sound is far better than what you get here in the YouTube example.